guys, what's up? I am Mr. J. So just subscribe my YouTube channel, Mr. J. Bro. So now I'm going to show you how to create a USB bootable drive using Linux platform. So uh, what is the operating system? Windows 10. Okay, Windows 10 USB bootable drive using Linux platform. So now uh, don't be afraid because it's just a simple methodology so i am using linux mint but do not afraid too because it works for every linux platform called linux mint centos fedora ubuntu blah 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 so follow me i will show you how to do first you must have a usb drive more than 8 gb so now i'm going to plug my usb drive and here is my usb drive so now i'm going to open it and you can see uh, there is an unwanted folder so now i'm going to delete it simply click delete okay delete okay i have deleted it okay so i will show the properties of my usb drive uh, nothing special okay i close it and i close the folder so now i'm going to menu and i type disk to open disk utility software and here the software okay so i select my usb drive you can see the file system is ntfs if you need to change the file system you must simply click on edit file system okay it's not necessary because ntfs is very good file system okay just go to the description on this video and download suitable uh, debian file for your computer okay first one is for 64-bit computers and second one is for the 2-bit computers so now i'm going to open this folder in terminal just click right and i click open in terminal okay so yes you cannot see this okay i zoom in zoom in zoom in okay now you can see it properly so this is my folder downloads wawa and woe this is the folder now i want to become a super user i simply type sudo su to become a super user okay just type my password and now i am a super user okay so here the folder okay here the folder it's root access and here the folder which has that two debian files okay you don't need to download two debian files okay you must download suitable one okay so now i open the list of this folder using lsa command and do this yeah you must do this too okay so here the first one first one is for 64 bit computers and second one is for 32 bit computers okay so my computer is a 64 bit one so i simply select first one and i copy that okay so now i need to install this so how to install it, this okay nothing to be worried so just simply type dpkg space dash i space and paste that copied one okay okay just simply press enter okay now it's installing okay nothing to be worried okay don't download both files okay just download suitable one okay it takes some times okay yeah yeah it's installing okay it has been successfully installed so now i'm going to open software so close the terminal and close the folder too okay so go to menu and i type w o e w o e usb is the software so w o e okay this is the usb drive i open it and you can see the software okay this is the software select first one don't select second one first one is the iso first one is for iso file so select your windows iso file you must have windows iso file before install this okay download it okay so here my windows iso file windows 10 iso file so now i'm going to open it here you can see it okay so my file system is ntfs you saw it before so here my usb drive the target device is usb drive okay so you cannot see it. okay i will zoom there is no option okay yes ah here here there is the option okay so i will install this okay uh, they require my password i type it okay then enter there is uh, trouble what is it target device is currently busy unmount all mounted parts in target device then try again okay i will try again by unmounting okay unmount unmount yeah eject eject yeah i click on eject okay so i install it again yeah there's another error. what is this okay wow oh, sh stops so many stops so it's very boring but it's 100 percent working okay sometimes you may face these troubles okay just see how to solve these troubles okay so go to disk okay this guy yeah, is this option and go to first one is my usb drive and uh, we cannot unmount it because it already unmounted so second one we can unmount it okay just simply type password okay 
So wrong password. Okay, I type it again. This bait be patient. Okay. Okay, I unmounted the partition, the second one. Okay. So I close that uh, and I refresh. Oh, there is no USB drive. So now I unplug my USB drive and I plug it again. So you can see my USB. Yeah, there is my USB drive. So here, the target device. But I must unmount it again. But don't unmount using again. Just unmount using this uh, software. Okay, there is my USB drive. I I have unmounted it. Okay. So I refresh this. There is my uh, USB drive. So now I'm going to install it. Yes. Simply type my password. Okay. Okay. I will fastly forward my video. Okay. It, it takes long time. Okay. Okay, in copying files, yeah, copying files it takes long time, guys. Yes, copying, yes, 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 it's installing, it's installing, okay. It's installing and mounting, okay. Installation succeeded, okay. So, I have installed my Windows ISO file into my uh, USB drive. So, now I'm going to open my USB drive, then you can see the difference, okay. There are two partitions on my USB drive. Here you can see there are two different partitions on my USB drive. Okay. Okay. Windows, uh, yeah, Windows files and UEFI. The BIOS files is an uh, other one is BIOS files. Okay. EFI. You can see we called it as Grub. Okay. So nothing to be worried. Okay. It's not necessary. Now I'm going to shut down my PC. Okay. If you need you can restart it but now i'm going to shut down my pc okay just shut down i click shut down here my pc is shutting down okay so be patient okay linux mint i'm using linux mint uh here now i'm going to start my pc again okay click my power button yeah not click okay by press okay press my power button and here you can see it's an old computer dell optiplex 380 it's an old series okay so they need my what yeah bios password i type it okay now i select usb device to boot okay you can see the windows logo yeah here the windows logo here so this is the simple method okay this 100 percent working okay don't be afraid if you have any trouble just leave a comment okay just try it okay it's working very well how about today video so if you like just click like and if you like my old videos just subscribe my youtube channel and leave your comment so see you in next video bye